Well guys, here I am again, another video for the weekend with a lovely cup of tea. And if you like this mug, home is where my cat is. Hey Claude. So Claude's probably going to join me. And he's just turned my light out. Oh, so Claude, there's a good boy. There we go. The mishap, say. Hey? Say hello to everybody. Oops, a daisy. So I'm in my gym jams and I will explain in the video. I will explain, but here's to another video. And here's to the best therapy in the world. I'm Gabby and welcome to another edition of the Fragrantition and if you've stopped by on this channel and yeah I've got a face without makeup I'm in my gym jams just stepped out of the shower on the hottest probably evening of the year today is I think the 25th no 26th of May just let me take a sip of tea I'm going to do a video even I don't feel like royalty. I want to have a scent to make me feel like royalty. So if that's you, give a big thumbs up. And let the royalties commence. So the first one I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to open one. I'm going to do an unboxing because the bottle looks stupendous. So I'll save that till the end. So you've got to keep on watching till the end. But what are your fragrances that make you feel like Princess Diana? Like, yeah, our beloved Princess Diana. Like, well, I'm not really a fan of the royal family. Let's just get that out there. I have respect for them. Um, and I was a Princess Royal fan. And I'm a Harry and Meghan fan. And... And I love that. And if you like that too, give a big thumbs up. Good luck to them. But that aside, I've got 10 cents. I wanted to get it a round figure that make us feel like royalty. Let's start with the first one. So, let, so let's start with a cheapy. But it might be cheap. But I tell you what, it's got very, very good projection. And where did I place it? I placed it here somewhere. Where did I place it? Well, let me... Ah. One moment. First TP I'm going to talk about is this one by Bath and Body Works. It makes me feel, it, it elevates me. It's called Misty Morning. I've got, popped a, a dent in it and I even love the matching body lotion. And I layer this as well, which I'll show you in a minute, which ones I layer this with. So this is not just Lily of the Valley. This is, it has a green tea note, a fresh note, especially on a day like today. It's beautiful. It shines in the, the hot weather. But let's face it, it's going to shine in the cold weather. That's how I feel because I wear scents all year round. So this, I do layer this one with. So, so beautiful. I actually layer it with my beloved Diorissimo. This together is just so lovely. It's so lovely. And I want to feel like a royal. I want to feel like a royal at the moment. I know I've been absent the last week or two. Um, probably just watch my last video on all my Cacharel fragrances. Now, I haven't, just as a side note, I haven't been on, I haven't been very well physically, but also mentally as well. And I kind of lost my mojo a little bit. So it's only really doing this, my husband and my cats, that really keeps my mojo together and I'm happy for that. And yeah, 
this is how I am. I'm not going to be here to impress anybody here on YouTube. I'm just going to be me, Gabby. I'm just going to be me. I don't want to talk too much. I, well, at work, I, well, I had a bit of a, I collapsed at work a couple of weeks ago. I have something to do with my blood, blood, high blood pressure and another thing. And also my mental health has just plummeted and it's really Richard and the cats and really sometimes it's hard to get out of bed but I'm here so let's carry on with the fragrance it's enough of all of that silly talk god in England we like to keep a stiff upper lip don't we anyway Diorissimo the one that Princess Diana wore allegedly Making yourself comfy there, darling. Yeah. It is a uh, Lily of the Valley solid floor. By that, I mean it's meant to have jasmine and musk in, but ultimately, you might be able to hear him pour there through the microphone. Ultimately, it's a Lily of the Valley scent, and it's. You want to feel like Princess Diana? I wear this a beautiful wedding day scent. Any day scent, spring, summer, autumn, or winter. You know, I don't like to categorize, but that's Dior Diorissimo. Next one, we're going to talk about another one that maybe Princess Diana wore. I don't know. Hermes 24 for Borg. This, I am not going to declutter. I am keeping this because it's a scent that Richard loves on me. And I feel. I feel Princess Margaret would have worn this. It's everything but the kitchen sink in there. And I was, a, I was a fan of Princess Margaret, maybe because she went against the grain, you know. She, she couldn't marry her true love. But anyway, this is everything under the kitchen sink and more. It's florals, it's slightly semi-sweet, musky. You could wear this to a garden party. You could wear this to a brunch. You could wear this in the evening, daytime. Even if you're not wearing a smidge of makeup and your hair is just up in a messy bun. Actually, I work with a girl um, and she once said to, she said to me recently, I'd rather be told that I smell lovely than I look lovely. And I'm going to hold on to that adage. So Erin, my work colleague who said that, thank you, because that made my day when she said that, because I've not even really been wearing scent recently. And that's going to change. That, my friends, is going to change. But anyway, and there's 24 for Borg. After I've made this video, I want you to write in the comment what scent of the evening I should wear. So we've had Diorissimo, Hermes 24 for Borg. I'm just going to quench my thirst with tea. Slurping on tea, well, actually that. Oh, no, let's just put it Next down there. And a couple of these I haven't spoken about because they're new. They're new, new nurse. This one isn't new. And when I did my all of my perfumes video, I left this scent out. How could I leave this scent out? Because I've had it nearly two years. It's a Bond number no. nine fragrance. Yes, guys, I am going to rock this again. Some of these scents have got that kind of like oud feeling in, but not overpowering oud. Bond number no. nine, B9. This is slightly floral, but this verges on that kind of woody oud territory, you know, that barnyard woody woody territory just skims on the edge of it i'm not going to spray any fragrance i'm just going to sniff so i want to put a scent of the evening on yeah have you got this do you like this actually it was 
Cassandra Jones that we all know and love our Cassandra across the pond. She recommended this to me. So would I wear it now? It is a, probably a bit too strong to wear now. It's so hot. But bond number nine, B9, makes me feel like a royal, a royal person. Let me tell you. Now the next one is Claude is just getting down there. It's a good boy, Claude. This one is Santel Majascule by Serge Lutons, and this was gifted to me by a lovely subscriber, Serena, who gifted this to me. And I've worn this a couple of times now. And it's rose and sandalwood. It's one of the most beautiful sandalwood creamy fragrances I've ever smelt. And yeah, I think wearing this, I would feel like a royal, like, look like feel like a royal. Who would wear this? I don't know, you see, because I'm not really into the royal family like some people are. Maybe I don't know. I guessing game. You tell me which royal would wear this. On Shalimar, I have to include Shalimar. It's that slightly leathery, slightly vanillic. It's that, it's quintessentially, I think, what a French fragrance embodies. Nearly 100 years old, it will be in 1925. But this is a statement of a fragrance. This is a regular new formula, but I love it. Love it nonetheless. It holds a dear place in my heart because... When I first smelt this, I wasn't sure about it. It grew on me. It was one of those fragrances that grew on me. Is it one of those fragrances that grows on you, or you hate it, or you love it? Shalimar, royalty in a bottle. Now, who would wear Shalimar, a royal person? Uh, maybe... I think somebody, maybe somebody that's years gone by. I think maybe the Queen Mother would have worn that. Was she secretly a flapper girl in the 1920s? Well, she was of that age in the 20s, in the 1920s. Classic royal like fragrance. It is Amouage. I to include an Amouage. This is Lily of the Valley, Civet. Slight word is quite animalic. It's it is one of those statement fragrances, young or old, male or female, or non-binary. It's again, it's just people comment when I smell when when I wear this. People do comment on me and they say that fragrance is very unique, and it is unique. It has a smidgen. Chanel number five, just a smidgen, or um, just thinking Rive Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent. Nonetheless, it's a royal fragrance, and I love it. Moving on to Diamonds and Emeralds by Elizabeth Taylor, the one spicy tuberose scent that I adore. All of these fragrances have longevity, even. Dior Diorissimo, when layered with Misty Morning Body Cream and the body spray as well. It's beautiful. But back to diamonds and emeralds. Do you know what? I actually layer, layer a lot of my tuberose scents with another Bath and Body Works, which is um, One in a Million. Oh, that's got a lovely tuberose scent in that. Kicks off any tuberose scent. But diamonds and emeralds, it's it's gorgeous. Do you like diamonds and emeralds? I think as a scent, it makes you feel like it makes you feel all dressed up, even though you might be in your gym jams, not feeling the best. But as soon as you spray, you really do transform yourselves. So diamonds and emeralds by Elizabeth Taylor. Now this next one, somebody said. Oh, you 
you smell rich and expensive and i think a royal person could wear this i would say who would wear this which royal would wear spell one two five you might think really you've included this i have because it is it's quite an austere fragrance it commands attention people around you will just oh okay this this person's got something to say it has a feathery like feel it's comforting as well yes claude do you like it no he's not sure but it's got this silvery feel to it with frankincense and it puts a spell on me and i think Do you know what? I can't think of royals. I'm so, so sorry. Who would wear spell 125? Comment down below. If you're looking, actually, for like a lily of the valley scent, but with some more notes added into it to give it some depth and complexity, I recommend Rumeur by Longvin. Because although it is a lily of the valley scent, it has another favourite note of mine. You want to jump up, Claude? There we go. There we go, my baby. Okay, that's it. Settle yourself at home. I don't really like the top. It's not very sturdy when you pick it up, so you have to pick it up like so. Francis Kirkjan was the perfumer behind it. It has magnolia in it as well. And you spray that. When you spray the magnolia, oh, come on, darling, there's a good boy. Oh, God, I know. You see, instinctively, he gets up on me. I'm just looking at myself. That's it. You be a good boy. <laughs> oh, Claude. That's it. Just poke your bum in my face. One moment. Come on, get down. That's a good boy. Get down. Get down. Get down. No, no, you've got to stay down, I'm afraid. Oh. 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 Here I am, set to again. Do you know what? The funny things come to my mind, although I feel like, you know, I want to feel like Kim Novak. I want to feel like an old film star. That's what I want to feel like right now. I loved her in the film The Mirror Cracked with Angela Lansbury, Tony Curtis, Rock Hudson. And there's a scene in it where she talks about Elizabeth Taylor playing Marina Gregg. And she says something like, oh, she's at the tower waiting to be beheaded. The rats are all crawling around her. And then in I walk, wearing this beauty. Anyway, yeah, I talk nonsense. This is Magnolia with tuberose. And it's, it's a sweet lily of the valley, but it's not too sweet. It's comforting. This video could easily be called comforting scents as well as royalty scents. And let's face it, scent does something. It transforms us. It just just peps us up. I'm dabbling on. Come on, Gabby, just stop gabbling on. Rumour, have you tried? Rumour by Lon Van. It is beautiful. So I would actually say maybe Kate Middleton may be like this. Because it's for maybe a younger generation who wants more of a sweet floral, but not more of a dated floral. Although I hate that term. This one, oh, this is so inexpensive. Varencia White by Ulrich de Varennes, which I believe he is some sort of a designer. But now, this, if you like, a milky, lactonic, sweet tuberose. 
Look at that. I think it's lovely. Some people would say it's tacky. It reminds me of a camp geisha girl. Yeah, because of this. But I tell you what, you need some strength to pull it off. The tuberose in here is beautiful. But in the dry down, it goes to this sweet vanillic mix blend. And it's stunning. It really is. I've had this now a couple of, I've had this now about a week. I will say the longevity and the projection isn't the best. You need to overspray this. I'm talking 10 plus sprays, even 15 to make it project. This is a wearable tuberose. I'm not sure if it's a safe blind buy because I don't advocate blind buy. But boy, have a little bit of tea. Don't worry, it's just tea. It's not laced with anything. Richard wouldn't do that to me. Oh, excuse me while that went down there. Proverbial. Anyway, Varencia White. I got this for under £25, I think under 20 So it's still readily available. Just type in Varencia White. There is a, another version. But anyway, I plumped for this. And this is a lovely... You could. I want to see how this will perform in the autumn and winter. In the summer, It. it's not... Well, we're coming into summer. It's not really performing greatly but i don't care i still like it who would wear this a camp royal maybe does anybody know of a camp royal and by camp i'm not insinuating they're anything other than who they are but there has to be i don't know who would you think would wear that finally the last two is one is juliet as a gun. Midnight Oud. Let me tell you guys and girls and everyone else, this, well, the bottle alone, it's just beautiful. I love it. This is the first Juliet Has a Gun fragrance that I've bought. Others on my wish list, Lady Vengeance and Mad Madame. I haven't tried Vengeance Extreme. But Mad Madame and Lady Vengeance, maybe, mm, you know that one, mm, maybe. But I sampled this. After I sampled it, it was a two mil sample. I used that in two goes. But this is one of the refined, smoothest rose and oud scents. Hands down. Longevity off the scale. Sillage off the scale. 10 hours plus. Sillage, you have to really wash it off. But, now you know Richard doesn't comment when I wear a fragrance. If he doesn't comment, I know that's code for he doesn't like it or it's not really doing anything for him. This, he did comment. Now, Juliet has a gun, Midnight Oud. This is in my place, Pride of Joy, and I absolutely love it. The rose and the oud, it's like oud Ispahan from Christian Dior, but even ten times better. Or I've got another fragrance called Ispahan by um, Amour Sense, which is a dupe clone house for um, Oud is Pan by Dior, but this, mm. it's, do you know what? I'm going to rock this in the day. I'm going to rock this in the evening. So people would associate maybe this with autumn and winter, but I don't care. It's so, it's, And believe you me, there's a load of rose oud scents out there. And I'm not the biggest fan of oud. But when it's done good, 
it's done good, midnight oud. Which royal would wear this? Gosh, it's so hard, isn't it? Which royal would wear this? Um, oh, comment down below, please. Help a girl out. Finally, I think this scent's going to make me feel like a royal person, feel like the royal queen I am. And I'm, I'm full of queendom, I am. Have anybody of you tried this? Now, this is called Mahir by Latafa. Now, I only have one other Latafa fragrance, I think. So I'm going to unbox this, see what it smells like. This is now uncellophaned. Let's take this off. By the way, this is cheap as chips. I got this... 23 quid on Amazon Prime. I can't get this off. Why is this not coming off? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's even come with a bow. Now, you can get the black version, but I read the reviews on this, and this is blind buy. <laughs> because it's this week has been really bad. But anyway, well, no, I'm still, do you know what? I'm still humble that I can drink tea. I have a roof over my head. I have people that love me. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters but love itself. Do you not agree? Well, anyway, this is the inner packaging. I see that the bow is actually attached to the box itself. But I'm going to keep that ribbon. I'm just going to put that down to one side. The bottle alone is beautiful. And it's a horse. And I do miss... Working with horses. I only worked with horses once when I was living in France, but that was a long, hot summer. It's, oh my gosh, it's sturdy, heavy. You could cause damage. But let's see. Now, this feel, there's no oud in this, but this does have a Middle Eastern feel. Gosh. Gosh, this is so lovely. I've just sprayed a bit of my hand here. You can probably see the sheen. It's florally. I don't know now what the notes are, but who would wear this? Who would wear this? Would King William wear this? Or even his wife wear it? Or... I don't know. It. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is so, so lovely. I'm just going to look at the notes and then come back. One second. So, according to Fragrantica, which I'm looking on my tablet here, it is powdery, woody, vanilla, musky, fruity, sweet, warm, spicy, white floral, balsamic, and fresh. I wouldn't say it's the freshest of scents. Do you know what? I love this little pros and cons that they put here on Fragrantica. Ele yeah, this scent is an elegant and powerful scent. Now, When I, the sandalwood is apparent, so there's red berries, peach and bergamot in the top, jasmine, peony and lily in the heart, and in the base, sandalwood, vanilla and musk. I would say there's no vanilla in this. Upon, as it's drying down, the sandalwood, oh, does that, is that a, is that a, is, does that meet Claude, does that meet Claude's approval? For things we do, eh? The things we do for our animals. Oh, so beautiful. Anyway, back to this scent. 
I do love the packaging. Oh, it's so, so beautiful. Do you know what? I really want to make this as my scent of the evening. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, the tougher my hair, the berries aren't there and the bergamot isn't there. It, there's a little bit of jasmine in there, but it is woody as well, slightly musky. It does have a bit of a powdery feel as well. So I'm so glad that I purchased this because, again, this was such a steal for under 25 quid. But I like the black one. Comment down below if you have used the black one, but this, oh, this is strong, as you know what. So, Mahir Latafa, a scent for a royal. Who would it be? Again, you're going to have to help me out, folks. I'm sorry. Oh, my. A dozen, 12 fragrances that make me feel like a royalty. Make me feel special. I could have included a lot more. What fragrance or fragrances make you feel special, like a royalty, like someone should bow or curtsy before you? So, my lovelies, until next time, and there's going to be another video in the next couple of days. Yes, there is going to be, because I don't want to lose my mojo, and this doesn't. And Richard and my animals... And you, I don't like pointing, but you watching this makes my day and that's all that matters. But you know what I say, keep on spraying and keep on spraying with gay abandon because I do. So until next time, you've been watching another edition of The Fragrantition. So what do you say, Claude? He's just purring away. That's it. Now you want to get down, don't you? It's the book. So we'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye for now. Thank you for your support, and I appreciate it. Bye.